We're at uh, St. Peter's Square. We just got done walking through the Vatican and Museums and the Sistine Chapel and now we're headed into St. Peter's Basilica and it's pretty awesome because there is nobody here. They've got all these barricades set up and uh, lines that we could see on the ground set up for just thousands of people and we should be able to just literally walk right in and it's kind of uh, unreal that we're here right now but we'll uh catch up to you when we're inside see ya we are on the steps and i don't think ever in the history has there been this little people here during this time of year we literally didn't even have to wait in line and just walked right in and it's pretty much a ghost The Pieta is so detailed and amazing, it was one of our favorite sculptures. From floor to ceiling, the Basilica is an artistic masterpiece. This was completely unprompted. Parker and McKenzie head off on their own to say a little prayer. Here we see the large bronze canopy, or baldacchino, which was designed by Bernini. Under it is the marble papal altar, where only the Pope can celebrate Mass. And directly below this altar and canopy is where St. Peter is entombed. There are so many works of art and things to see in the Basilica, so give yourself at least an hour of time to walk through it. And add additional time if you're going to climb the 491 steps up to the top of Michelangelo's dome. On the way out, we caught a glimpse of the Swiss Guard who have been protecting the Pope, Vatican City, and St. Peter's Basilica for over 500 years. Wow, it gets even better the further you walk away from it. Look at it, now you can see the, the dome rising from above. Crazy so once you get beautiful. inside, like, it's like I was taking yeah, this is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. It is. Escaping the bubble from Vatican City. We want you to escape the bubble. Like and subscribe.